for the video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get out of grassroots uh, which is the bottom division in the leagues and uh, this is kind of just how to be a better driver in general um, I'm not the best person to be asking for this but uh, I'm going to show you my experiences and how to get up because I haven't lost points in a league race in like 10 races so I mean I can't even remember the last time 10 races is a long time but I saved three of the races here um, and pretty much all the races are pretty much the exact same, uh, except a little bit of differences. And as you see, I got them from three different lobbies. Uh, these two were close to each other, but I think they're still different lobbies. But I got them to show you that it doesn't really matter what track you're on or anything. So uh, it doesn't matter if you start in the back or the front or anything. So we're going to start with the Silverstone. Now this is the Sim League. I do recommend you play whichever you feel uh, easier. I'm going to be doing the Sim Leagues and explaining to you how the Sims kind of work. Uh, I think sims are easier because uh, it's a lot, you have to be able to pass, uh, and ghost it doesn't really matter, you go right through the person, but in sim links you have to be able to know how to pass, and I feel like I'm pretty good at that, or at least not bad at passing, uh, so that's a big, th that's an advantage I have over some people, I found the easier way to pass, and holding lines is also really important too. And so is respect. So we're going to start off here. I'm just going to go. Alright, so as you see, I'm starting in the back. There's only one. There's only like two cars behind. But we're going to start off. As you see, I'm going to go to the side. So going to the side because I do not want to get annihilated by this guy. So that's kind of something that you're going to want to do. Well, I'll watch. Everybody in front of you is going to get crashed. Now, I kind of did get collected here a little bit. But as you see, I didn't take any damage to my car. And I still got right back on the track. Uh, and I am exactly where I started. I'm one position ahead. Uh, I believe there were 18 drivers in here. And then as you see, uh, trying not to get hit is a hard thing to do. Uh, so I did have to go off the track a little bit there. But that's kind of, like, as you see, I moved to the outside because I knew he was going to come in. And it's okay because, you know, I ended up getting this, uh, I got a better exit on the Aston Martin, as you can see here. And he tries to block me to the outside. If they try to do that, just, you know, just leave him face. Uh, they would probably crash you. Uh, so I'm just going to break a little bit later than he does, but I'm still going to keep a good line, and that's important. If you are going to do late braking, you don't want to crash into someone, or they're going to come and hit you next time you see them. So I've already gained, I'm already uh, four positions ahead of what I started, and as you see, <laughs> you have to be smart. Whenever you're going to turn in, you always have to make sure you look. I did look, as not shown in the replay, uh, but you always have to make sure you look, or you're going to get collected like I did there. Um... In this situation, so that was the first lap. I did decent, but now I kind of, now that it's kind of calmed down a little bit, now I have to actually, you know, race and pass people. And I don't know where that guy's going. He's just almost going to take me out there. But now you're at a point where you just have to be as best as a driver as you can be. And all I have to say is stay to the driving line, brake when you're supposed to and don't hit anybody that's all you really have to do let the other people make the mistakes and as long as you do a good race and clean air like i am right now i'm kind of clean cl kind of clean air a little bit but as long as you have a good race you're going to get better lap times than the people in front of you and you'll start to catch up and you wait for them to make mistakes uh, as you will see up in the later races now since i started in the back all i had to do is put a respectable position uh, I said to start 16 at 18th. If I can place top 8, I should be able to gain points towards my league. Might not be a lot, but I should be able to gain. It's always better to gain than lose. So, I know just don't make a mistake. I almost made a mistake there. But the main goal was to just not crash. And it was uh, just to basically perform the best laps. Alright, so as you see, that guy made a mistake over there. And the pack is kind of close up here. There's four guys. And I'm currently in 12th right now, as I remember. Make that 11th as that guy goes off. As you see, I'm just performing decent laps, and I've gained two positions since the last time we were on this part of the track. That's basically, I mean, it's all you have to do. And I'm sorry this, if this video is going to be a little long. I'm trying to put a lot of information into it to show you a lot of examples. As you see, those two guys up there are really close, so they're going to be battling. So what this means is I don't want to be a part of that. I just want to let them do their own thing there, and they're going to slow each other down, and if anything, they're going to cause contact, and I should be able to pass. And I don't know what I was doing there. I don't even know what happened. But I braked a little bit too late, and so that hurt me a little bit there. This lap overall wasn't very, very good. Uh, but here, I believe this is the last lap. 
as you will see. Um, I'm just going to race in a normal race. Let me scrap. All right, so you see these two guys here. They're they're messing each other up a little bit, and there's the contact. So I did have to cut the track. Uh, so I was I was gonna give that back. Sometimes you do want to give that back uh, if you cause contact, but I didn't cause the contact. I just avoided the crash, uh, so it is legal, and that puts me into ninth place here. Now I'm probably not gonna catch up to these guys over here. I don't think. Yes, the end of the race. But I believe I put up ninth. It's starting from 16th in an 18 car race. Actually, no, I got eighth. Yeah, that's right. I know I had eighth. That guy messed up over there. So I believe that got me 60 points because of how far back I started. Um, and this puts me in a middle position for the next race, which is what I want to show you. I'm going to show you what it's like starting from the middle, front, and back. All right, so I am kind of in the middle here. I am currently seventh out of about 12. So it's, it's kind of in the middle, but then again, it's kind of far back. So I'm going to move to the outside here, and this is the smart thing to do. Even if you let some people pass, you're going to catch them up anyway, and it's best to not get annihilated from the back. Uh, as you see, I didn't really gain anything out of that. I kind of lost a couple positions <laughs> as I thought some people were going to crash, uh, but maybe not. And so that actually put me into ninth uh, when I started in seventh. So I went backwards, uh, learned from that, but then those two guys decided to go off the track. That guy, who knows what that Lamborghini is doing over there. Uh, this Ferrari is just going to do that, and this got me really annoying. Remember this. Remember this uh, Renton right here. Remember this. Look, just a little nudge. Even though you have to learn, I have the inside lane right here, as you can see. But and then he's just gonna he's just gonna come to the inside, like like why why do? But yes, unfortunately, I did get collected here, which is kind of annoying. Uh, that's one thing, but this is why you don't quit. So yeah, just remember that Reventon for later, but this is exactly why you don't quit. This put me into 12th out of 12th, uh, but you'll see where I finish later. Um, so right now, a lot of people, yes, they will quit, but it's it's important because you don't want to quit. That's going to lose you all the points that you've gained. I just see, I did not know what I'm doing right now. Uh, that guy spawns in. That's 11th, going to try to avoid that. Now I'm in 10th. And I got clipped from the side, but you know, whatever, I'm all the way back down to the side. I'm still not going to give up though, because people do crash, people do quit, and uh, as long as I place in the top six, or as long as I place before I started, I should be fine. So again, that Lamborghini decides to, you know, crash or whatever. And this was only lap one of five. So as, if you can survive lap one, you're pretty much guaranteed points as long as you don't crash. Uh, but obviously I did not survive lap one uh, So I do have to make sure I put in a lot of work that guy is facing the wrong way That's a free point and notice who it was Did you notice it was a Reventon? Uh, he'll be back for later actually I, Actually, I don't know if that was a Reventon. Uh, Ferrari Huff decides to go off You know another free position for us that puts us into seventh or eighth I think uh, so I am where I am right now. So my mentality is just get past this guy because the other guy is all the Renton's all the way up there. Uh, and as long as I pass this guy, I will get positive points. So you want to be smart, play conservative, because it's in a league. It's not about just one race. One race will get you points, but it's about how good you do in every race. And if it comes down to one of the races where you might have to settle for just 10 league points, do it because you don't want to mess up and get negative 40. Uh, but then the Reventon, uh, once again, decides to join the party up there, which is very interesting, actually. And there, here comes a three-way crash. The Reventon sets another one up. He actually hits the Porsche. Uh, and one guy's going into the pits, so that's a free position for us. That puts us in the sixth. Nice to see, we have fifth, fourth, and third right there. We can get a podium. A podium. Nice to see, there's the Reventon again. He finally gets hit back off of the, on the Porsche. That's why you don't want to uh, become bad friends with someone. Uh, see the Porsche is drifting. I'm trying not to get in the way. He's gonna try to cut back on, but he doesn't. That's fifth. The Reventon goes off. Now we're into fourth just by driving normally and letting other people make mistakes. And this happens in Ghost Leagues too, um, but not as much. And there goes the Reventon again. Just gonna knock us off the track. Uh, lovely Reventon here we have, uh, and that puts us right back into six. Accidentally touched the Porsche. So what you want to do here is you don't. You do not want to pass him. You want to let him, or you want to let him settle back again. As you see, I don't know where he was going. I'm gonna let him go through, but actually I didn't know that him. But 
It was respectable. I didn't immediately pass him after I crashed him. So this is why he's not coming after me. Uh, so that puts us into fifth. There's still fourth and third right ahead of us. Hairpin, you have to be smart. There's gonna be people coming from miles away who are just gonna try to hit you in the back. So be smart. I took it very, very slow. I should not have taken it that slow at all. But the Reventon decides to crash. That guy decides to crash. That puts me in the third, and I'm pretty much settled for the rest of the race. Just don't want to catch up. So I ended up going from 12th to 3rd. That's why I never quit. And that gave me, I think, that gave me like 200 league points because of how, how far back I was after the lap 1, uh, which is crazy. So yeah, that's the end of that one. Now I'm going to show you what it's like to start in the front and what you're going to want to do uh, from them. Uh, starting from the front, I find it to be the hardest because when you're in the back, you don't have to worry about the rammers. When you're in the middle, you kind of have to worry about the rammers, but then again, it's not too bad but the front is the worst because you literally have everybody behind you except one person i think only one person started in front of me uh, i'm just gonna show you how it goes all right so you notice how a lot of people are behind me you're gonna see i'm gonna get past these people here pretty easily uh, so that puts me in the third automatically and i shouldn't really get past this guy all right now here's the deal i got a i got a hairpin coming up i got a whole bunch of people behind Behind me. What I'm just gonna do is I don't know what I did. To be honest, I thought I was gonna get hit, so I kind of just braced for it. Nothing even happened. So I ended up getting in the front. I do not recommend you do that, but it it happened. I thought I was gonna get hit, so I spun myself sideways, uh, hoping that I would bounce off the wall, less damage. But I have a transmission issue. So the 40T behind me is actually a way higher rank than I am, like 2,000 lead points ahead, and he doesn't have damage. And as you see, we have a very good lead, and it will be a good lead uh, later. So the smart thing to do here is if I cannot keep my position, because he has, I have a lot of damage and he doesn't, I'm not going to go into the pits because I am in first. And I am, I, I'm able to hold it. It's just transmission. I'm going to be smart. And I'm going to let him pass because if I, I can keep battling and get crashed and go sideways and lose our lead, I could possibly end up in like 5th or 6th, but this way, if I just let him go by, or try not to race too defensively, sure he gets first, but we get to keep that second, and we don't have to worry about anybody else. But as you see here, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Now you don't all, do not do this if you don't have damage, but if you have a lot of damage like this, it's kind of the best thing to do. But as of right now, uh, it was an 8 lap race, so I was just trying to stay in front for now. Uh, but I'm not gonna hold it back after a while. As you see over here, I'm gonna I'm gonna move to the outside. I kinda moved a little bit too much to the outside. Ended up hitting the wall, but I once again I had damage. Uh, and then he goes past, and that's pretty much it for the rest of the race. I'm keeping this like I'm not he's way faster as he's over there, but I have a huge lead and it should be fine. So I'm gonna skip ahead into the race and show you what to do in back markers starting to come. If you don't know what a back marker is uh, a back marker is like a guy not on the lead lap, and they're gonna start to mess with your race. So this is one up there. All right, so I'm gonna show you what to do with him. So this is the first back marker I came across, and keep in mind, first place is way uh, up there, and third place, as you saw the headlights, they're not too far away, but they're plenty, plenty far enough. Uh, so I'm gonna be smart with this back marker, and I'm not gonna try to pass him unless options there. Uh, if it's an open option, take it, but. You a lot of times the back markers when they see someone in second coming they're gonna crash they're gonna crash them that's just their thing uh, so being smart here I'm just taking a conservative line and all that and the guy's back there so can't be too bad and now that, that's all I'm doing yeah this is the last lap and I just wanted the racist guy it's pretty much over I had a humongous lead those all back markers that I passed uh, or the back markers that caught up I ended up lapping a couple of people uh, but yeah that's pretty much how you get out of grassroots. I, I hope this helped. Um, if it did help, make sure to put a like down. Uh, it helps out the channel. And if it did help, make sure to comment saying it helped or comment to see uh, how far you've gone since then. Uh, but yeah, that's been the end of this video. Hope I see you guys next time. Until then, don't forget to subscribe for more videos and Forza Motorsports like this. I'll see you guys next time.